What's really exciting about the Andes is it's the first show of the year, so in, in and of itself, that's really exciting for the rest of us. And I think, um, you know, what, what the Andes is doing now with transparency in the jury room is, is also just, you know, very interesting. That the Andes is the first one out of the gate. Uh, it's, a pr it's a precursor to the rest of the year. And um, it's always been about the one thing, and that's brave, brave work. So the filter's there, the people are genuine, um, and uh, it's the first look at the rest of the year. Awesome. Andy Awards is very different than Cannes. You know what I mean? Cannes is a lot more partying. It's a lot more, okay, let's see what's going on in the glamour, right? Let's go hang out. Focus. You know, really hear about the work. Really hear about the international work where judges are going to come in and we're going to really go to work, right? We're not going to be partying at night. Well, just maybe a little bit. Shh. But we're kind of here to work and it's not here for the party. And, um, we're here to just really look at the best work and uh, really make a hardcore difference and, and hopefully come back with a show that everybody respects and loves. The one thing that makes the Andes different for me is the idea that there are no categories in the work and that whatever is the bravest and the most inspiring is what's going to win. Um, and breaking down those categories really frees up um, what work can rise to the top. I love the Andes because it's the first um, award show of the season, so it kind of sets the bar creatively for the industry. I think the thing that makes the Andes special is the way the judging works, and it's why it was particularly well-suited to be live. The fact that all the judges are together judging all the work, regardless of the category, from start to finish. I think it is the bravery part of it. I've never, I've served on other juries before, and I love that bravery is a part of it. That is what, for me, is what stands out the most. I think the end is like the most uh, distinguished thing about it is the fact that it, it goes live and everyone can see what the juries are discussing. For me, it's the most innovative thing. I think all of the, the festivals should uh, follow and, and do the same because it's very important for everyone that it's outside, like not to, to really understand what what are the criterion behind uh, all of the awards? I think it's they're they're doing an amazing um, thing for the industry. I think the Andes is really really interested in education um, for the next generation, for current existing creatives, and um, what I love about the Andy jury is it's very um, uh, thoughtful, and everybody wants to. Pick, pick a piece of work up and really turn it around and investigate and inspect it and see what makes it great, where are its shortcomings, and, and how is it doing its job in breaking into culture. And the whole role of the live uh, idea for, for, uh, to be on Facebook was to educate people, uh, bring people into the room as opposed to keeping them out. I have a lot of anxiety about it, but I'm sure I'll feel better once, uh, once it gets going. I don't like anything live and I don't like authenticity. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Every time I mention it to someone, their eyes get really big, like, really? You're gonna be able to see what, what the jury's saying? Really, you're gonna get to see what the jury's saying. I think the Andes are innovating, and like everyone always wants to see what's happening inside the judging, the jury room. And it's a great chance, like, uh, we can have an honest conversation, and it's good for everyone to learn, um, especially the ones that are having their work being judged to understand uh, what were the things that were missing or what were the things that really resonate more with the judges. I think it's amazing. Awesome. Young people need to see um, some of the brave decisions that are made by some of, the, some of their uh, uh, older counterparts who, who uh, do have to make these decisions and how they make these decisions and how you can make a brave decision. So to lock this up and keep it private and kept away from the public is just ludicrous. Yeah, I'm trying really hard not to think about the fact that I'm going to have to judge things in front of the entire industry. Um, you asked before what I think the bravest thing I've ever done in my career is, and I think this might be it because I'm about to say uh, some crazy stuff, possibly, about some agencies that I might need a job from in the future. So sorry in advance. I think the power of the Andy Awards is the inclusivity is that we're not locking the doors and closing people out of these conversations. We're opening 
we're opening our industry to uh, people all over the world to see what we think makes great work. And that conversation is beyond 20 people in a room. And I think that's the power of being able to share this with everyone. Well, it's that's the Annie's part is there's one jury judging all the work for the year. Um, it's not broken into categories. So I think you really look at the whole body of work and can signpost where the future of creativity is sort of headed and, and what's happening in the industry and what we need to do next to be creative.